the 1994 genocide, Rwanda has been actively promoting gender equality. Rwanda was the first country in the world to have women occupy over half of the seats in the lower house of parliament in 2015. Unfortunately, women radio journalists are not as common as women in parliament. Good evening, dear listener. Kachinya Regine works as a radio journalist at Radio Izuba in eastern Rwanda. Can every woman in Rwanda become a radio journalist? Sure, sure. Because we believe there's no, like in Rwanda, we believe that there's no any qualification in uh, being a journalist. And we have, we, we are lucky that our country has promoted uh, women uh, in a rate of 30%, but that is not enough. Also 50-50 50, 50, 50 can do that because in the parliament now they are 64. With the help of their listeners, Radio Izuba has managed to unite the community towards improving equality between men and women. <laughs> As a radio station manager, what do you think of gender equality in your radio station? We put much emphasis on gender equality on our radio station uh, because not only it is not a government policy, but also uh, our main mission, our main objective as a community radio is to promote gender equality. The western side of Rwanda, the Karongi district, is surrounded by Lake Kivu. Due to the isolated geographical location, radio stations were previously prevented from reaching this area. Radio Isangano originated due to the desire of Karongi district residents to have a diversified source of information and a platform for the promotion of good governance. Gender uh, has been uh, a very uh, paramount uh, uh, thing uh, that, to, to put into consideration because from the beginning uh, uh, women journalists uh, were, were recruited as volunteers. Uh, we also have a good number of uh, permanent staffs who work for the radio. Esther is a mother and a grandmother. She's also been a volunteer reporter at Radio Isangano since its start in 2011. She's often out and about interviewing people. Uh, Mm. Mm. 